Hello. The village and township is in good shape thanks to the proactive collaboration of an extensive local network of organizations and individuals who have been meeting daily since March 12th to develop careful and thoughtful responses to priority community needs given the impacts of coronavirus, also known as COVID-19. This coalition of nonprofits, government agencies, elected officials, and representatives of key stakeholder groups is identifying gaps in services and coordinating services to help us get through this pandemic together. It is important that we not overreact or panic, but be responsive to this highly contagious virus by adopting proactive and practical measures to reduce the transmission of COVID-19 in our community. And being mindful that this is quickly evolving for which no one knows how severe the outbreak will be, nor is truly prepared for. This situation will test all of us. But we are certain that as a village practicing shared leadership and collaboration, we will mitigate the impact and ensure access to essential services, food, shelter, wellness, and a safety net. To keep you regularly informed and facilitate public feedback, we will continue to host virtual town hall meetings on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays starting at 7 p.m. This will be a forum for updates as well as to answer questions from community members. Details on how to connect can be found at YSO.com or the Village of Yellow Springs Facebook page. Other important ways to stay updated are YSNews.com, Yellow Springs Bulletin Board Facebook page, the Community Access Yellow Springs cable and YouTube channels, and HyperReach, which you may sign up via YSO.com or HyperReach.com. Please join us every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7 p.m. for a virtual town hall. Stay safe. Thank you. Greetings to everyone who may be watching this broadcast. I'm Mayor Pam, Mayor of Yellow Springs. And if your daily habits have morphed in a way similar to mine, you find yourself looking for reliable sources of information, especially on the local scene. If you're watching local access channel five as one of those sources of information, that's a good choice. Channel five station manager, Sean Devine, has been reformatting the station to be a useful outlet of information in these times. I also want to share another source of information and helpful resources that will soon be coming your way if you haven't seen it yet. The Yellow Springs News is devoting their upcoming issue to the COVID-19 outbreak, especially as it affects our local community. All residents of Yellow Springs will be receiving a copy of the paper, whether you're a regular subscriber or not, and it will come with your regular mail this week. I just learned a new term from one of the folks in the office. Every door direct mail, E-D-D-M. When you get a flyer from Bentino's or Calypso, for example, it goes to every house, every post office box, every apartment, and every business. So you'll be receiving that with your mail this week. Within it, you are going to find a flyer that looks like this. It's bulldog blue, and it's two-sided. On the front, Healthy Habits Yellow Springs, with the things you have been hearing over and over that by now hopefully you've inculcated to the point where it's automatic. Washing hands, keeping clean, covering cough, and so forth. Those, uh, the front of this flyer is from our friends at the Greene County Public Health Department. But it's the back that I really want to highlight to you now when you open the paper and take a look at this. Village manager Josue listed a lot of resources during his prior conversation with you. And on the back of this are phone numbers and websites that you can access to get answers to specific needs you might have or to volunteer in one of the many capacities that we're lo actually looking for folks to step up and help out. Our Yellow Springs Community Foundation is collecting a list of volunteers now. And you can let them know ways that you'd like to help. Their information is on this flyer. And I want to give many thanks to the Community Foundation for their support in circulating the news to all residents this week. 
also to the Alice Springs Chamber for their contribution to this important flyer. Keep it handy, it's a good reminder. So until the next virtual town hall, I want you to remember your healthy habits, keep yourself informed, and know that we'll get through this together. Thank you.